Okay, so for the mill wheel, the most obvious thing that's a little bit hard is the crossing of the strings. So I would always get my students to try to practice using their wrist more than their arm, because if you think about it, if you use mostly your arm, it's a really big movement, so you're not going to be able to play as fast. And using the wrist is going to give you a lot more flexibility, and it's a smaller movement. So to try to practice how to do that with your wrist, just lean your elbow on a desk or a shelf. I'm just going to pretend like I'm leaning, so I'm not going to move my upper arm at all. And you're going to go up bow on an A string and down bow on a D. And because you're not moving your arm, your hand is just going to have to adjust to try to reach the strings. And without even thinking about it, you're going to do the right thing. So you're kind of basically dropping your hand for the upper string and then lifting it for the lower one. But if you just immobilize your arm, your hand should kind of do that automatically. So you can see how you're using your wrist. You can actually change strings really easily. And then once you've kind of gotten that, you can take your hand or your arm off the shelf or the table and then try to remember what you were doing. And then you can just relax your arm and obviously now you can move it. And that's how you can do that bow actually a lot faster and easier. And as you speed up, as with all things when you're speeding up, just do smaller movements, smaller bows. And because you're changing back and forth, you don't have to, the angle of the bow doesn't have to be exactly on A and exactly on D and can kind of be in between. And that will help you speed it up as well. But practice it slow first, don't move your arm and go like that. Okay? Now the second thing is, maybe it seems like this song is going really fast, but actually the notes, you're only doing every two notes is when you're changing. So practice just the melody first if you're getting confused, all right? Because every other note is a D, just ignore the Ds completely. Just go. Okay, and it's actually pretty easy. Then when you double it up, your left hand still pretty slow. Okay, so that's how I would go if you're just starting out practicing this. And I, it's going to be easy to accidentally use your arm again when you start adding your left hand notes. So if you find that that's happening, just get this going first. Make sure you're using your wrist. As you're going, you notice you're going like this again. Stop with the notes, just do your left hand again. Or over your right hand, open string. Okay? Now I got it back, I'm going to continue where I left off. Okay? Then the next kind of difficult part is the shift. And I would just, again, practice just the notes on its own. So I'm going to start from bar 11. So you're going to go. Okay, I'm using my thumb to shift up. Just practice that first. So it's actually quite slow. Then when you double it up, your left hand's gonna do exactly the same speed. So it's actually not a big deal once you've practiced it without. If that seems hard again, go back to going. Okay, and the one on the next line, which is bar 15, would be exactly the same thing. You're gonna go... Or... Alright, so just go back and forth. The second half, you're gonna go backwards with the bow. So, practice this again, but go up bow, down bow on the E, up bow on the A. But it's the same wrist thing. This direction's a little harder, but once you've practiced the other one, it's the same thing, just a different direction. And just watch out, for some reason, most people forget about the C sharp in this one, so just remember the second half as a C sharp. And then I think that's about it.